Chris Epps Porzingis turns the Boston Celtics into championship favorites. Just the other day, the Celtics were able to pull off a blockbuster move in trading for KP. And although over the past couple seasons, Porzingis has dealt with a lot of different injury concerns, this previous year for the Wizards, he had one of the best seasons of his career, and most importantly, he was healthy for the most part. And at this point, there does seem like there's somewhat of a chance that KP can fully return to the Knicks version that he was in the past, pre to all these injuries due to the great play that he showed this previous season. And adding a player of that caliber to this already very talented Celtics roster with the likes of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown just turns the Celtics into an extremely dangerous team. But quickly before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. The Boston Celtics are coming off a relatively disappointing postseason. Although they were able to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, and they did have some pretty nice series victories, most notably over the Philadelphia 76ers, at the end of the day, they ended up losing in the Eastern Conference Finals to the Miami Heat. And the reason why that was so disappointing wasn't necessarily due to the fact that they lost in the Eastern Conference Finals, but was more so due to the fact that they lost to the Heat. And going into that series, the Celtics were perceived as a very heavy favorite, and they were perceived to have a ton more talent than the Heat had. But unfortunately for Boston, they ended up going down 0-3 right away, and at that point, basically everybody thought the series was over. But after being down 0-3, the Celtics miraculously brought it to a Game 7 after winning their next three games, but unfortunately for them, they ended up losing in Game 7, and the Heat moved on to the NBA Finals. And a huge reason for why that was so disappointing was due to the fact that it was clear that the Celtics probably were the better team. Although the Heat were the better coach team, and although the Heat did still have a good amount of talent, the fact that the Celtics were able to win three games in a row after being down 0-3 really showed that they probably were the more talented team, and they probably were the better team. And if the Celtics did a couple things differently in those first three games, they probably could have won at least one of those games, and the series would have been completely different, and the Celtics could have potentially went to the NBA Finals. But after that disappointing playoff performance for the Celtics, the Celtics front office thought it was time to make a change and thought it was time to add some significant talent as they did just trade for Chris Saps Porzingis. And in my opinion, adding a player of the caliber of KP really turns the Celtics into championship favorites. But the question at this point is why do I feel this way? Well, I feel this way for a couple different reasons, but clearly the main reason why I think so is due to the versatility and due to the talent of Chris Saps Porzingis. When you look at KP, it's pretty clear that he has the ability to do a lot of different things out there at a really high level. Like for example, from that three-point range, KP is an extremely talented player. As he has the capability to run the pick and pop, he can also just spot up in general from that three-point range. He can also create for himself from that three-point range, which is crazy to say, considering he is 7'3 out there, but he just has a lot of different abilities from that area. Now moving on to his mid-range shooting ability, he also has a lot of those same abilities that he does from that three-point range, but also has a really nice post turnaround fadeaway, and the fact that he's 7'3 and has that wingspan that he does possess, it's basically impossible to get a real contest on it and it is basically impossible to get a block shot on it. So that shot just turns out to be super effective for a player of the build of Chris F. Porzingis and he utilizes it extremely effectively. But now moving on to his driving and finishing ability, this is also a great aspect of his game. As KP has a ball handling ability at that size to take the ball from the top of the key, drive all the way to the basket and finishes over players with nice stuff or finishes around players with crafty layups, either his left or right hand. And in my opinion, it's pretty clear from all three levels of the game, KP has a really nice ability to score the basketball. And when you talk about a player that has those kind of capabilities for any team, it just makes that team that much better just based upon that. But when you specifically look at the Celtics roster and the star of talent that they already have in Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, I just think that's going to make KP that much better because he's now going to get that many more open looks and open opportunities 
opportunities and it's just going to make his life easier it's going to make tatum's and brown's life easier as well and overall i just think the celtics team is now going to be extremely difficult to defend now the next reason that i want to touch upon for why i think the addition of kp turns the celtics into championship favorites is due to the fact that they just got another star and what i mean by this is a lot of times what coaches like to do is they like to mismatch the minutes of their star players so for example for the celtics this previous season they would have either jason tatum or jalen brown out there at all times and once it came down to clutch time situations they would play both of them together but now when you add that third star in chris Apps porzingis you just now have more flexibility out there to give some of these guys more rest so for example there could be times out there when you rest both jason tatum and jalen brown and have kp out there or you can rest jason tatum and have brown and kp out there or some sort of combination of that but most importantly what it does as i mentioned before is it gives rest to your guys and keeps them as fresh as they could possibly be going into those clutch time situations so for that reason i do think it's extremely important and makes the celtics that much better by adding that third star in kp but also another reason for why mismatching these players minutes could be very effective is when you have the caliber of chris Haps porzingis obviously it is nice to play with other stars out there because you're probably going to get more open looks out there but at the same time when you have that capability that he does you also want to be the main guy out there at times so when the celtics are mismatching these guys minutes and kp is a main player out there on that specific possession or on that specific stretch it's just going to allow him to be a lot more aggressive and get his confidence up as well and it's just really nice to mismatch these players minutes while also making them play at the same time in clutch time situations and overall i do think the fact that the celtics added that extra star just helps them out in so many different ways but the last reason for why i think the trade of chris Haps porzingis turns the celtics into championship favorites was due to the actual deal now in the actual deal the celtics were able to bring in a really nice player of the caliber of chris Haps porzingis and they didn't really need to give up all that much so the official deal is the celtics received chris Haps porzingis the number 25 overall selection in this year's draft and a 2024 first round pick top four protected from the warriors now the grizzlies received marcus smart which is somewhat of a blow to boston as he was the heart and soul of that team and the wizards received tyus jones from the grizzlies danilo gallinari from the celtics mike muscala from the celtics and the number 35 overall selection in this year's draft from boston so when you look at this overall deal the most meaningful thing that the celtics traded away was marcus smart and although as i said he was the heart and soul of this team at the end of the day adding a player of the caliber of chris Haps porzingis is definitely worth that risk and if kp could play at somewhat of the level that he was playing last season the celtics are going to be an extremely dangerous team and i can definitely see them winning the nba championship this upcoming season i think the addition of kp makes them that much better but i guess only time will tell what does end up happening with this chris Haps porzingis trade but one thing that i will say is i'm extremely excited to see how they all fit together but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think the addition of chris Haps porzingis makes the celtics a championship favorite or do you not think so but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy check one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time peace out guys